Yo, yo, Spirit Light Body, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? Oh, man, I hope everything is straight with all y'all out there. All right, y'all. You know, you know how we do. If you got you some Palo Santo or some Sage, go ahead and burn that. Get in the frequency, you know what I'm saying? That, yo, I'm going to open my mind and I'm going to learn and absorb what this is saying. And I'm not going to externalize it. I'm going to internalize it and see how this applies to me and I will become a better soul from gaining this information. Now I've been giving y'all the qualities of the soul, but now I'm going to show you one of the one of the um qualities, you know, that or the symbolic forces as it says that opposes soul qualities, right? So, jumping right into this thing. Kripa, individual delusion, avidya. Traditionally, the name Kripa is said to derive from the Sanskrit root Krip, to pity. But phonetically, which is the basis of pure Sanskrit and transliteration, the root corresponds to Klirip. From this root is the meaning to imagine. The intent of author Vyasa in symbolizing Kripa as Avidya, which is basically like, you know, like I said, symbolic forces that oppose. So it's showing you symbolically. That's why it's all these different names. But what it's telling you is individual delusion. Or what it says is ignorance or illusion, right? So, the metaphorical derivation. And I'm just going to give you the translation because that's kind of hard to pronounce. One who imagines matter to be other than what it is. Avidya is the first of five... Kleshas. This individual delusion is the ignorance in man that clouds his perception and gives him a false concept of reality. Patanjali describes avidya in these words. Ignorance is perceiving the non-eternal, impure, evil, and what is not soul to be eternal, pure, good, and the soul. So it goes on to say, Maya, cosmic delusion, is the universal substance of forms in the infinite formless. Avidya is the individual cosmic hypnosis or illusion imposed on the forms that makes them express, perceive, and interact with one another as though each has its own separate reality. Gods, remember the supreme being, you, Omnipresent, undifferentiated cosmic consciousness underlies its maic separations into the parts through which the creator expresses his manifoldness. By the visualization of his thoughts through the power of Maya, in quotation, the magical measure, God creates, sustains, and dissolves dream worlds and beings. Similarly, man's unmodified divine consciousness as the individualized soul is the basis of all his expressions. God's make power of visualization has been inherited by man in the form of a vidya. Through this personalized, personalized, geez, guys, measure, man's one soul consciousness becomes differentiated. By delusive imagination, the power of visualization, or imagining the ego's concepts, Man creates his own illusions of reality and materializes or brings them into being or expression through the instruments of his differentiated consciousness. Mind, intelligent, feel, or intelligence, feeling, and sensory organs of perception and action. Thus, is he a miniature creator? Fashioning good or ill for himself in the phenomenal world of which he is an operative part? Is this the creative force inherent in man's thoughts that makes him so formidable? The truth is in the adage, thoughts are things should be duly respected. And I'm going to stop right there or whatever, y'all. I mean, because it, it, it goes on, you know, but I mean, you can just kind of get what I wanted to what I wanted you let me be clear here what I wanted you to get at is the part where it talks about the cosmic delusion see how it says that it describes the avidya right in these words ignorance 
is perceiving the non-eternal. So stuff that's going to perish. You see what I'm saying? Stuff like that we worry about every day. You see what I'm saying? Oh, is this going to be, oh, my house, this, or oh, my material, this, that, and the other. You see what I'm saying? Perceiving that this non-eternal, impure, and what it says is evil, and what is not the soul. Imagine in all that that I just said, to be eternal, pure, good, and the soul. You see how backwards shit is here? See, I've been trying to tell you all that. You see what I'm saying? How things, how backwards it is. You see what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, it's delusion. You see what I'm saying? It's what the ancestors call Maya being wrapped up in illusion. And what did that say right here? Individual delusion. <laughs> it's all in your mind, man. Some of this stuff that we do, I'm not saying that everything, I'm not saying that because we have real issues out here, you know, and you just can't say it's all in the mind. But a lot of this stuff really does start with the mind, with your thoughts, with the mental. You see what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying that once you get, and that's why in the pages before this, it talked about learning how to gain control of consciousness concentration being able to meditate and get into these zones that you can control your mind and cut out a lot of that stuff you see what i'm saying as i told you guys before some of the deepest levels of occultism are about spirits and thoughts but i ain't gonna get into that because you know that's what i want y'all to you know um you know just open your mind to that's all man I don't want you to believe anything or try and lead you off somewhere. Hey, come on, believe that. I'm not trying to do that. I just want those who want this knowledge and this truth, you see what I'm saying? And they want to be better souls, to be a better human being, whatever you aspire to be or whatever you aspire to do, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all, man. That's why I do it. You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all before, no agenda, man. Spirit, light, body, y'all. It's just me, man. I just wanted to see a better humanity. Or, I mean, you know, a better... Uh, world so i try to be the change that i want to see in the world y'all till i come forward man wholeness